Now working up on the grass Tuesday morning is Valbury. The horse goes around in race number one. He has, well, she has been backed a couple of times in recent efforts. Last start coming off a fifth to D Great Wall. That was back on the 21st of April. And uh, Valbury will be ridden by Essanandon and draws barrier one in the Need You Badly handicap. That is Valbury. Looking sharp on the grass on Tuesday is Golden Casino, a horse which is coming off three placings in a row, has had the four runs in Malaysia and is coming off a last start third to Da Vinci here back on the 22nd of April. Well drawn in barrier one, SU Lim takes a ride and uh, goes around in race two, the Spruce Handicap, and that is Golden Casino. The Kevin Coatsy Stablemates also go around in race two. That's Halo Inspire working up on the outside of idyllic scenery. Halo Inspire had its first run for the camp last time out, ran third to Multi Blue Eagle back on the 21st of April. Not a bad effort and will be second up this weekend and idyllic scenery. Hasn't had a start since uh, storming home in the race run by Multi Blue Shark. He ran second. That was in Penang over 1,700 metres idyllic scenery. So Halo Inspire, the outside, idyllic scenery is on the inside. Both horses engaged in race two, the Spruce Handicap. Now we've got another pair of Coatsy stable mates, and we've got uh, Bristol Diamond, who is working up on the outside of Leon. Both horses engaged in race three. Uh, the uh, horse on the outside is Bristol Diamond. Is coming off a recent win over 1,400 metres here in last month. That was back on the 14th of April. And uh, Leon having its uh, second run for the Gamp should strip a lot fitter from that unplaced effort there behind Big City here back on April 22. Both horses go around in the Fraser's Hill handicap and that is Bristol Diamond on the, in, on the outside of Leon. Now this is Crown Star, goes around in race three on Sunday as well. S.U. Lim will take the ride on Crown Star. He's had the four local runs, of course, one at his local debut. That was in KL back in February. Hasn't been far away in class four grade in recent starts, coming off a last start fourth on the 22nd of April. That race was over 1,200 metres. Steps up to 1,400 this weekend. That is Crown Star, goes around in race three. Also going around in race three is Cherish, a horse which showed a return to form last time out, running second to Big City here last month. Cherish has uh, won at Class 4 level before, and uh, Jackson Lowe rides the horse for the second time on Sunday. Uh, that is Cherish, has won two from 11. Both wins have been in soft going at Epo, and uh, Cherish looking to go one better this weekend in the Fraser's Hill Handicap. Warlord is coming off an all-the-way victory here last weekend when he was able to uh, win over 1,200 metres. That was in soft going. And uh, steps up in grade this weekend. He goes around in the Nayshaw handicap. That is race six. Let's have a look at that winning performance of Warlord. They're back to Borna Fighter. It might be Warlord's day today, though, with 100 metres left to go. He's got a commanding break here, and he finally breaks through, Warlord. Anak Warrior holding on for second there with Classic King, and Warlord goes all the way. It's Warlord from Anak Warrior, Classic King, and equally optimistic. Then Miss Blanchett. They were followed by Supreme Star. Working on the sand is Big Boss, who goes around in the seventh race on the program, the Enrich Stakes A. That is down the straight course over 1,100 metres. Big Boss, he hasn't had a start since the 4th of March, so he's coming out first up virtually. Was placed behind Tidal Wave here back in January, Big Boss. Has been around the mark in some of these higher graded races, and Jackie Chua will take the ride on a Big Boss. The seven-year-old has had the 33 starts for the... Uh, six wins overall, and uh, that is a big boss.
Now, this is Big Bitcoin. Goes around in race eight, coming off a recent victory over 1,200 metres here back on the 14th of April and was unplaced at Penang last start. Returns to the home track where he has uh, won most of his races. He has won six from 36 overall. So that's a Big Bitcoin from the Asmadi Yard. M. Zairi takes the ride, and Big Bitcoin goes around in the Eskdale Chief Handicap. That is race eight. Lining up for the new stable this week in the Eskdale Chief Handicap. That is race number eight having his first run for P.K. Leon, coming off some consistent form, including a KL victory two starts ago. This is Hoffman winning a trail here at Epo during the week. Uh, then came Sterling staying on down the outside and they were followed by Good Lucky. It's now Triple One D Great about to be grabbed on the outside though by Hoffman who's finishing it off a lot better and gets up to win. It's Hoffman from Triple One D Great, Sterling third and then Good Lucky. This is the three-year-old gelding from the KF Wong Yard. Napoleon goes around in the Hawaii Handicap. That is race number nine. And Napoleon coming off some reasonable form there in Class 5 grade. Did win a Class 5 back in March of this year. Looking quite sharp on the uh, track there with P. Mogan aboard during his track work routine. The apprentice Mogan will take the ride on Napoleon in race number nine. And here he is, the nine-year-old Malaysian bred Kaspar, still going around, coming up for start number 79 this weekend and uh, is looking to break the five-year drought. Hasn't had a win since September of 2013 and he'll be going around in race number nine, the Hawaii Handicap with S&N and on board and uh, draws barrier six. That is Kaspar. Now, Loyalty's Angel is still a maiden after 33 stars, but has been around the mark recently and has notched up a few placings in recent outings. She won a trial back on the 15th of May, Tuesday, a week ago uh, at Epo. Let's have a look at that winning trial from Loyalty's Angel. Side, and then about five or six lengths away was W.O. Beauty. Three in line. Real Hero goes up to Loyalty's Angel. And then came Bircham as they hit the wire. Not a great deal between the two. Maybe the inside Loyalty's Angel hanging on from Real Hero, Bircham third, and W. Now, Common Sense will be uh, produced first up there in race number 10 on Sunday. And Common Sense hasn't had a start since October last year, resuming from a spell. Uh, did pick up a race in Kale during its last preparation. Has to overcome the wide barrier draw. And Ferminyap has got the ride and draws the 11 from the 11 runners. That is common sense. Real Hero returned to the winner's circle here last weekend. And he's now notched up six victories from 52 starts overall. Uh, he'll be on the upgrade this weekend. He goes around in race 10 with Reuven to take the ride as we have a look at that winning performance from Real Hero last Saturday. Is still there. Real Hero tries to shirk off all of the challenges there with 100 to go. Blazing Steed is trying to rein in the leader, but Real Hero still in front, getting close to home, and Real Hero goes on to win. It's Real Hero first. It's a photo for the miners between Dirac and Blazing Steed. Vrad goes around in race 11. This horse has had the two runs here in the country and showed improvement last start after finding the lead and uh, ran third in a race at KL and that was over 1,200 metres. And Vrad from the Peter Lee camp and Furman Yap will take the right. He draws barrier nine in the King's Knight handicap. And that is Vrad.